Hi guys, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. And this is the last video of this series and in this video we will learn how we can deploy the API that we created into a live server. And I would recommend you that don't use a free hosting. I have a hosting in cloudwords.com and I am going to use this hosting. I already have a domain hosted here and this is my cPanel so you need to access your cPanel if you are using a shared hosting you will get a cPanel and you can do the same thing with commands in a naked VPS or something else if you are using but right now I am using a cPanel now uh, I will open PHP my admin and I have a database created here already and what I need is I need to create a database user and for this I will go to MySQL databases. You can see I have a database here named my app. So I will import this table, export this table, I will export this users tables that is locally in my system. Export this table, I have users.sql and I will import this table in this database. So I will click on import, I will choose the file users.sql and then go. So the table is imported in my live database. So now I have the users table. Now I will come to create new database and I will create a new user here. And I will name at the same my app and I will generate a password. So this is the password and we have to remember the password. So for now I will save it in notepad. So this is the database password and this is the database name. So this is the database name and this is the database password and that's it. Now I will add this user that we created to our this database. So let's do it and to do this again we need to come to MySQL database. So In this option add user to database we can add user to our database the database is my app and the user is also my app. So let's add and let's give all the privileges. So the user is added. Now we need to upload our API. And before uploading, I will change the database constants. So this time the constants are the host is localhost, the user is this user, password is this, and the name is the same as the user. Let's confirm the name. Yeah, user is same and database is same. So we have changed the constants. Now what we need to do is we need to upload all the files to our server. So first I will zip everything. So we have cxamp stdocs and my API. So I will zip my API. Let's put everything inside this zip file. Now we will upload the zip file into our cPanel. So we need to go to file manager, search here file manager. And I am going to use this domain name which is simplifiedlabs.xychat and I will upload the API in this directory. So the file is zipped now I just need to upload so click on upload and select file it is inside cxamp stdocs 
and my API. So I will upload it. So the code is uploaded, refresh it and we have my API and we need to extract it. So extract the, the API is extracted. Now let's try opening a, an endpoint. So we can open simplified labs.xyz then my API. Then we need to go to this public directory and it is asking for the authentication, the basic authentication. So username was Bilal Khan and password was 123456. Sign in and page not found. Now let's click on create user and it is a post request that is not allowed so let's try postman and let's send a request and we are getting unauthorized because the username is changed it is Bilal Khan and password is 123456 send again and you can see it is working fine so our API is now live now if I will change the base URL to this live URL and my project then it will work fine even without connecting my phone to my computer using an hotspot. So let me show you. Now let's try registering a new user. Click on sign up and you can see user created successfully. Now you can add a progress bar to show when the user is being registered. So you can do these things. So our API is live and I will leave the link to the APK file in the description of this video so that you can check the APK. And now you can use this API in your own project to learn. So that's all for this series friends. I hope you found it helpful. If you did then please share this series with all of your friends who are learning Android application development. And for any kind of question you can leave that in the comment below. And that's all guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.